monthly general love message for August 2024. Now we're going to start with singles, then relationships, and then situationships, okay? All right, this is just a little peek into the energy for the month. If you want a private reading, check the yeah, check the, the information below so that you can email me for your one-to-one -one love message. All right, this is just a general message. If it, it applies, it applies. If it doesn't, it doesn't. All right, now we're going to read these all up right because I'm getting um, a message today that it should all be, yes, positively correct. Okay, all right, angels, high vibrations for singles. And there we go. Hmm, what is going on? Thank you, thank you, thank you for singles looking for love. So, major, major, uh, at the beginning of the month, I'm not going to say major theme. We have abundance here when it comes to love with the Four of Swords. I feel like you are laying back. Yeah, you're taking a sabbat sabbatical when it comes to love, but that doesn't mean there isn't love around you. You're maybe not accepting this love, but there is someone around you that wants to pour love onto you. I feel like you feel it. You know it's there. Eh, you're like, mm, if I want it, I want it. If I don't, I don't. Okay. All right. Now, as we progress into the middle of the month, when it comes to this love, we have inner peace. Yes. And the five of wands, whoever this is, you're not going to allow them to um, disrupt your, your meditation, if you will. You are not going to allow any energy to come into your world because I feel like whoever this is that's trying trying to come into your world is bringing in the middle of the month some drama, okay? Now, as we move on to the end of the month, we have connection and we have the death card. No, the death card isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's kind of a, a thing of this is, um, there's an ending here. There's definitely the death of something. I feel like by the end of the month with the connection card, they will actually, I want to say either you will actually have them go away or, um, you, or, or they will just go away on their own. Whoever this is that's coming towards you, I don't get the feeling that you want them in your world because I see that you're like, okay, I'm gonna give you a chance at the beginning of the month. In the middle of the month, there seems like there's a little bit of drama and you're like, no, this is just not something that I'm interested in. By the end of the month, it's it feels like it could work. Like you might give them a chance, but then with the death card, you're like, mm, no, I'm, I'm over it. Let's, let's do a, um, you know what? Let's just, yeah, there we go. You're not interested in the um, pain. And for some, I feel like you guys know that they are not over their ex or they're not over, um, it's almost like you know it. You just know it. Like, you know what? And maybe that's the reason why they want to love you, but there's somebody else emotionally that they're still tied to. You know, sometimes we think that we have enough love to give everyone, right? But just because just because they have that love doesn't mean your heart. Sometimes it doesn't expand that much to be able to love so many. And in this case, you're wanting all their love. You're not wanting pieces of it. If you are not over your ex, I hear, then, you know, you got unfinished business, okay? All right. All right. And you know that if you open up your heart to this, you already you already know because I, I see you like, mm, I don't know if this is what I want, okay? All right. So let's take a peek at the relationships. Gemini's who are in a relationship. Angels, we're looking for some joy here. Yes, we are. Remember, these cards are red all right side up. Thank you and thank you. Thank you. This is just a little tidbit. If you want a full reading, please contact me. Yes. <laughs> At the email below. Angels, high vibrations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for, there we go. Gemini's. All right. So for the month of August, we have you 
Gemini are setting boundaries in your relationship. And you're probably thinking, well, how is that going to work out? <laughs> well, it's going to work out great. You have to do this. I feel like this is actually going to make, um, this is going to ground the relationship. It's going to bring it stability, you setting these boundaries in the relationship. It's a good thing. Now, in the middle of the month, uh -huh, it's paying off. We have worthiness. You are actually holding your self-worth in this relationship which is bringing something new to the forefront maybe you guys decide that you want to move in together you want to get engaged or you want to get married but you holding your own is literally um, building like you're building something here what i what i'm feeling now at the end of the month we have creativity and the three of cups there is some joy you guys are doing something totally different totally out of the norm at the end of the month and i feel whatever it is it is definitely a cause for celebration so um let's take a peek into that that out of the norm hmm angels what is this what is this i feel like there's surprises for you guys ah the queen of cups i feel like i feel like um by the end of the month these the celebration has to do with your peace your peace of mind in the relationship you guys are going to be feeling very comfortable um, these boundaries that had to be set at the beginning of the month actually worked out is causing you guys to do something different uh, in your relationship and and in whatever that difference is different is in the relationship it's bringing peace not just to one but to all okay I feel like you guys are mixing it up this month that's just what I'm what I'm feeling, but it's you who is, who is requiring that. Now, let's take a peek into the situationship here. Yes, angels. You know, and I'm just going to say this because I just picked this up. Some of you are actually, and this is really bizarre, but some people, you know, it's different for all people. <laughs> Whatever that is, for some people, you might actually be um adding a third party into your relationship i'm just gonna leave it like that that's for you guys if that's if that's what brings you guys joy then hey <laughs> then hey right all right we're just going and that third party literally could be a child or um maybe you're having a in-law or something like that move in or, or something of that nature or it could literally be third party situation that you guys both agree on okay all right now let's take a peek into the situation ships all right and you're like dora what the heck was that i'm just that's all i'm hearing okay all right so we're looking for the situation ships here thank you and thank you remember once again these are all red bright side up thank you thank you and thank you there we go situation ship thank you and thank ya there there we go okay so situationship this is a big this is a, a bit hmm, okay let's just get into this okay it's almost like can't get your footing okay um the serendipity with the with the um the nine of cups i feel like the major theme here is when they are there you are feeling completely loved up when they are there when they show up you are feeling very safe and confident and i feel like when they are not there you're okay with that too because you know they are coming back there's a sense of i know i know um in the middle of the month i feel like luminosity you are focused on um, a tower moment you know that it's coming you know that there's going to be an ending here but all endings are not bad endings so let's take a peek let's do uh, a clarifier in this tower hmm all right thank you thank you and thank you ah okay so whatever you you it seems like in the middle of the month it feels like you have been giving a lot to this um, and and it's time it, it literally is time for that to end that is the death of that situation and now things are working out more evenly see how that worked yep it wasn't necessarily a bad thing that death wasn't necessarily a bad thing it was the death of the the uh, un instability and the uneven unevenness of it now when we look at the end of the month we have the reviver um rainbow reviver i feel like things are really feeling good here but there is 
this is what is concerning me with this Eight of Cups. Even though um, things are great, this feels serendipity all month long. Okay, the judgment card here. I, I kind of am picking up that at the end of the month, things feel really, really good. It's almost like two weeks a good time. And then and then it feels like you're back to that, oh, they're gone again. They're, they're leaving again. This is a this is a wake up call for you. It's almost like things worked out great. I feel this this on again off again kind of in um, energy with this. And and this is probably something of the norm. But like I said, in the beginning, it's something that you're used to. You're okay with. And I feel like at the end of the month, because of this this um, getting a little bit more of what you've desired here, it makes you feel comfortable. It makes you feel safe. And then when that energy pops up again, that serendipity energy pops up again with the back and forth, it kind of makes you. It kind of jolts you a little bit. Like oh oh yeah, that's right. This is a situation ship. <laughs> Okay, so we're just going to leave that there, okay? So I'm going to leave that there. I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.